Heavy haulage is a fascinating job. It requires an unconventional approach. The transportation of such heavy loads is a specialty of only a few companies. Let's have a closer look at such a job. The Belgian vessel fabricator G&G International received the order for the fabrication of this column. It was needed for the Belgian Fina refinery extension in Antwerp and had to be transported from the factory to the job site. For this job one had contracted the Dutch heavy haulage and crane hire specialist Van Zemeren Holland. The 220 tons heavy column with a length of 38 meters and a diameter of 8 meter was loaded on a single 8 axle line dolly at the front and a double wide 4 axle line Goldhover at the rear. Both trailer combinations were equipped with turntables. To ensure the stability of the total transport combination, one had selected a 6 meter 20 double wide Goldhover combination. The transport combination is supported by 128 tires, which all are steerable. A 525 horsepower found tractor provides the necessary pulling power. As the height and weight of the column do not allow transportation over public roads to Antwerp, it was rolled on board of a flat top barge in the direct vicinity of the factory. During this roll-on operation, the trim of the barge is accurately controlled by means of ballast pumps The transport combination rolls on board of the barge in reverse direction, so that at the offloading location the load can be rolled off in forward direction. The fawn is disconnected and everything is prepared for the transportation via the canal of Willebroek to Antwerp. In order to release part of the load from the trailers, the column is lowered onto steel supports on deck by means of the hydraulic suspension system of the trailer. The space between steel supports and transport saddles is filled up with hardwood timber and carefully the load is placed on the supports. Meantime, preparations at the unloading location were in full swing. Directly behind the unloading key, the transport combination had to cross a number of pipelines. A temporary steel bridge was constructed across these lines to enable the transport combination to cross. Roll-off ramps, which are connected to the temporary bridge across the pipelines, have an incline of 12%, and the found tractor really needs all her power to pull the transport combination from the barge.
most critical part is past now. The front dolly is off the barge which consequently rises and the slope of the roll-off ramps is decreased. Now the last part of the transport route is executed through the open fence on its way to the foundation. The local Belgian police had temporarily stopped traffic during this maneuver. Due to the high center of gravity of the load, the platform trailer was accurately kept horizontal with a spirit level. Everything goes according to plan. Just before the foundation, two 90 degree turns directly behind each other in combination with another bridge across some pipelines had to be negotiated. Especially the slope in combination with the turns required utmost craftsmanship of the Van Zemmeren crew. Concrete edges of the 6 meter 20 wide bridge were backfilled with sand and covered with steel plates to allow the 6 meter 20 wide rear trailer to be steered accurately across the bridge. The Belgian crane hire specialist Sarens had mobilized and rigged its DMAC TC3000 crane with 72 meter main boom and 150 ton superlift counterweight. With a maximum lifting capacity of 230 ton at 16 meter radius, it, it was just sufficient to lift the 38 meter long column on its 8 meter high tabletop foundation. To get the rear trailer exactly in line with the bridge, it was maneuvered backwards and forwards several times. The first trailer had passed safely. Now the double wide trailer had to go. It just fitted.
last part of the route was easy and the found safely delivered its load and the crane reach near the foundation. Sarens, in combination with Van Zemeren, now completed the job. The 200 tons telescopic crane used as tail crane was hooked on to the skirt and the main block of the TC3000 was connected via slings and a spreader beam to the main lifting lugs at the top of the column. After a disconnection of the tra transport cells, both cranes lifted the column horizontally to clear the transport combination. foundation was leveled with steel shim plates. Slowly but securely the column approaches its vertical position. By means of walkie-talkies, the supervisor stays in constant radio contact with both crane operators. The transport combination is rolled away and a few moments later the column reaches its vertical position. The enormous load on each outrigger of the DMAC crane is spread on steel support mats on the ground. Now the slings of the tail crane can be released and the full weight of 230 tons is supported by the TC3000. We still had to lift the load approximately 8 meters and carefully watch the spreader beam to stay free from the main boom when the column was swung above the foundation. Finally above the tabletop, the column was slowly lowered over the foundation bolts. ring of the column cause some problems to fit over the holes. But it works. The crane can lower its load safely on its final foundation. After vertical alignment in two directions, the crane can be disconnected and the job is completed.